here's the bunnies I found on this trip. I just love this little country store. Oh, the stories it could tell. I love that little old house. I don't know why. We make a neat picture. I need to stop sometime. One thirty four point nine on the miles, and I'll have to check the gallons. Let's see, three point six six one gallon. Good morning, everyone. I wanted to talk to you about uh, the health problems that I had while I was visiting my family in Tennessee. I was feeling really bad and urinating a lot. And I thought maybe I had a urinary tract infection. I didn't know. But my uh, family members, a couple of them, have diabetes. So uh, they suggested that I check my glucose, my blood sugar, and they had their little meters with them. So um, one of my family members checked my sugar and it was 345, which is really high. I've always had low blood sugar all my life. Uh, since I was a teenager, I had hypoglycemia. So it was something I never really worried too much about because I know it's it's always low. I mean, it's probably been a couple years since I checked it, and it was low then. So I don't really know how long this has been going on. I know I've been having problems for a while where I felt bad and was tired and wanting to sleep a lot. So anyway, um, my relative was enjoying pricking my finger, so we were checking it in the morning and checking it at night, and... Um, you know, it just kept staying high, so I immediately changed my diet and stopped all the sweet drinks and the sweets because I was really doing a lot of sweets while I was there. So I decided to come on home 
And so that would have been three weeks ago, Monday. So I came on home and went and bought, well, actually we went shopping and I bought the glucose meter because they know more about it than I do. So I bought one while I was with them. And uh, so I came home and I s continued to check my glucose in the morning and evening and I completely changed my diet. Um, just eating fish and vegetables and cabbage soup, just nothing with anything, trying to not eat anything that would spike my blood sugar. I wanted to get this back down to where it needed to be. I, I'm, I'm going to go to the doctor, but I wanted to get it down enough where I don't want to be put on medication. So the more I studied about it and watched YouTube videos and everything that I learned that you can, you can correct it and uh, completely heal yourself from diabetes. So I got on that journey and for three weeks I've been drinking nothing but water and very little sweets. I've ate a little bit of natural peanut butter which doesn't have anything in it but peanuts and salt and so there's no sugar added but it does have a little sugar in it I guess but I just eat a, like a teaspoon or two a day. Just and I'm so, I was so used to eating sweets that it's hard just to go cold turkey. So that was my little treat. So I do that like once a day and I might eat an apple or orange. So I've been doing really good and I've dropped like about 12 pounds in those couple weeks. But um, in the meantime, I got, as soon as I come back home, my husband was sick with some kind of respiratory thing. So I got that. So I've been really sick with that. So trying to deal with that and deal with, you know, eating properly and trying to go to the store when you don't feel good and all that, it's been a, it's been a challenge. But anyway, I'm happy. Uh, I did, I've gotten it down into the 140s, the low 140s. So hopefully I keep going and it could take, from what I understand, it could take months or years. I, I don't know, but I'm going to try my best to stick with it and get it all back down where it needs to be and try to get myself on a healthy routine because I've been out of control, very out of control. So I'm feeling much better and I've been walking and I'm finally getting over this respiratory thing. I think I still sound kind of weird but and still coughing I'm sure the coughing thing will last for a while but I just wanted to let everyone know what was going on I know I told you in the previous video that I had a health scare so I just I wanted to let you know because that re it really scared me bad because I know that diabetes can cause a whole lot of problems so with your kidneys and you're losing your feet and legs even I mean it can and going blind I mean it can just really do a whole lot of bad things to your body so hopefully from here on out I'm changing my diet and sticking with it so far I'm doing really good with the sweets I didn't think I would ever be able to give up sweets because I'm a sweetaholic but so far I've I just kind of went cold turkey like I did when I became a vegetarian 13 years ago actually I became a vegan first for three years and then I it's so hard to find things to eat when you're vegan so I ended up just being vegetarian so I don't eat anything from animals but I do eat fish sometimes and uh, of course some cheese and a little bit of dairy but I'm trying to cut a lot of that out too and I'm just I'm just doing fish right now to try to get my uh, blood sugars down which what I understand fish and vegetables is a real good way to do that so hopefully I can stay on this new way of eating new lifestyle I know I'm feeling much better much better so just want to let you know and I'm in my van right now I'm once I get feeling better, I want to get it all cleaned up, and I'm going to sell it, I think. I, I really hate to because I love this van. I've had so much fun in this van traveling. But now with the motorcycle traveling, I just don't use the van. And it's been sitting here for a couple years, and I just drive it every week or so just to down the road to keep it, you know, everything moving on it. 
So I think I'm going to sell it and put the money toward a new motorcycle because I, I think I need a new motorcycle. Mine's, like I said, now it's 21 years old. So, so it's getting up there and so am I. So I need something dependable when I'm out on the road. So that's everything I got going on right now. So I just wanted to pop in here and, and let you know everything that's going on. I am feeling much better and about everything and actually think that this was a blessing in disguise because I was heading down a really, really bad road and with the way I was eating, it was just, it was out of control. I think the more sweets you eat, the more you want and it just becomes a really bad pattern. I was eating in the middle of the night sweets and I never done that before, but I think when you get diabetes, it makes you crave it, makes you crave sweets. And I had, I did, I mean, I knew something was wrong that I wasn't healthy, but I didn't, I didn't have a clue that it was diabetes. So anyway, hopefully I will get this straightened out and back on the right track. And I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that this has happened to, because a lot of people I know has diabetes. So I would love to hear from you to know how many of you, if any of you have been able to cure it on your own without taking medication. That's my goal. I do not like medication. I watched my mother be put on so much medication that it was just horrible. She had to have a big machine sitting on her counter that dispensed all these pills because she was taking so much. And I think that's what, I think that's what happened to her and why she got dementia and, and passed away at a too young of an age. So I do not want to be put on medication. So I will do whatever I have to do if it's just eat vegetables or whatever I have to do to keep from that happening. I'm, that's my plan. So all right then. I hope you're all doing well and having a great day. It's a beautiful day here. It's been so cold here in southern Indiana or cold to me uh, in the 40s at night. And so I and I've been sick, so I haven't been on my bike in three weeks so I'm looking forward the next few days. It's going to be warm and even getting up in the 80s. So I'm kind of excited about that. And, and I'm feeling better from this respiratory thing. So I need to get my bike out and get it cleaned up. And I need to get it into the shop and get some things done to it. I still haven't done that yet. And then hopefully I will be getting a new bike for long. So you all take care and I will see you in the next video.